we're all on a journey and I think the more conscientious we are about it and the more conscious choices we make the better our journey is or the easier or the swifter or the, we get more goodies or we have better health you are far more than just your body you are pure consciousness you are a divine magnificent expression of life you are one with all of life and yet no person no place and no thing has any power over you for you are the only thinker in your mind you are the creative power and you are the authority in your life now you are choosing to use your own power to help heal yourself yes it is true that when you were a child there were some difficult times times when you felt lonely unwanted and unloved perhaps you were rejected or abandoned or even abused and humiliated yes i know there were some terrible times some of them may have been so awful you don't even remember them but the past has no power over you if you choose to live in the now the point of power is in the present moment each moment is a new beginning and this moment is a new beginning for you right here and right now so let's take the past all of it and wrap it up in the pink of divine love and release it and let it go we affirm that you are now free you are not your mother nor her fears you are not your father nor his beliefs you are not any of the relatives nor their opinions you are not the teachers at school nor their rigidity and you are certainly not the limitations of your early religious upbringing you are yourself a divine magnificent expression of life you are unique and special and wonderful one of a kind since time began on this planet there has never been another person like you and there never will be therefore there is no competition and no comparison you have your own unique talents and abilities and your own special way of expressing them you are worthy of your own love and your own self acceptance not because of what you have done but just because you exist we order your subconscious mind to release any and all negative beliefs that are limiting you or harming you in any way they must leave you now it does not matter if we know exactly what they are or not it doesn't matter how long these negative beliefs have been there now in this moment we order them wiped out erased eliminated neutralized and released we affirm you are willing to let go and be free it is safe to do this we affirm a willingness within you to release the mental causes the mental patterns in your consciousness 
that are creating any negative conditions in your life now. We affirm you are willing to release the need for this condition in your body. You now allow it to disappear, to fade away, to dissolve back into the nothingness from whence it came. We affirm you are willing to begin to dissolve all resentment and blame. There is so much love in your heart that you could heal the entire planet. But just for now, let us use this love to heal you. Feel a warmth beginning to glow in your heart center. A softness, a gentleness. Let this feeling begin to change the way you think and talk about yourself. Allow the love from your own heart to flow throughout your body, through all the veins and arteries, down to the tiniest little capillaries, bathing and soaking and soothing and healing every cell in your body. Let this love from your own overflowing heart Bring joy to every part of your body so that all the cells are joyful as they go about their work of keeping you healthy. If there is any pain or discomfort anywhere in your body, let this love surround it and dissolve it so that your body is free to heal itself. Let the love wash through your body like cool, clear water, cleansing everything that it touches. Your body knows how to heal itself. Love it and support it in this task. Say to yourself now, I choose to get well. I choose to get well. Let us use the love from your own overflowing heart to wipe out any and all old resentment and hurt and bitterness that may be lingering in you. It is impossible to really love until we have forgiven. As the Course in Miracles says, would you rather be happy and well, or would you rather be right? This is a time for compassion and healing. Go within and connect with that part of yourself that knows how to heal. You are incredibly capable be willing to go to new levels to find capabilities of which you were not aware. Not just to cure dis-ease, but to truly heal yourself on all possible levels. To make yourself whole in the deepest sense of the word. To accept every part of yourself and every experience you have ever had and to know that it is all part of the tapestry of your life this time around. I love Emmanuel's book. There is a passage in it which has a good message. The question to Emmanuel is, how do we experience painful circumstances without becoming embittered by them? And Emmanuel's reply is, by seeing them as lessons and not as retribution. Trust life, my friends. However far afield life seems to take you, this trip is necessary. You have come to traverse a wide terrain of experience in order to verify where truth lies, 
and where your distortion is in that terrain. You will then be able to return to your home center, your soul self, refreshed and wiser. If only we could understand that all of our so-called problems are just opportunities for us to grow and to change, and that most of them come from the vibrations that we have been giving off, all we really need to do is change the way we think, be willing to dissolve the resentment, and be willing to forgive.